So I, I have something I love to do with guys that are uber successful like you, and I find this to be extremely intriguing. So what is a day in the life like for you Monday through Friday? What, when do you get up? What do you do? What is your, what's your routine like that day? I get up at 4.30. Do you? Every okay. morning, yeah. And uh, I get up and I, I do cardio. I drink one cup of coffee and some water and do cardio. I'll ride a bike. I'll do sprints. I'll jog uh, for 30 or 40 minutes. Then I ate a big breakfast. Mm. Big breakfast. Oatmeal, eggs, fish, steak, whatever I got. Eggs, mm. oatmeal, and a meat. Yeah. Um, Protein. Yeah. And then uh, then I go to the gym. That's about 6 o'clock. Mm. By then, I go to the gym. I power lift for an hour. When you do cardio, what are you doing? I'm jogging, I'm sprinting, okay. or I'm riding my bike, whichever I decide when I right. wake up. Someday, you know, since I go so hard, mm -hmm. some days I might want a little less of a, right. a you know, so I want to ride the bike. Right. But I'm still getting that. I'm still burning those. I'm still getting it in. Right. And it's I like... It's a matter of just doing it. See, the, the, the thing about that is, is it's still pushing yourself in a different area. It's mm -hmm. not right. the same as jogging. It, mm -hmm. it's, you, it's different. You're you're working different muscles, mm -hmm. right? So it's so it's positive that you're working the different. If all you did was ride the bike or all you did was jog, that would not necessarily be the greatest thing because you're just working those same muscles all over mm -hmm. and over again, mm -hmm. and and your work your, your cardio is different. When you can do several different things and and, and work your heart out differently, you know, and right. kind of confuse it. Stay that, comfortable. That's where you go. Yeah, that's yeah. where you, you push it. You know, I ride the bike. I'm really pushing it. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. I, I mean, you know, I did the bike today, 12 miles. You know, right. before you know, and then I, and I go to the gym and power lift, and then come back home, get what, ready. I'm what, at the what, office. What about seven seven a.m. now? Coming back home about seven. Yeah, 7 seven. Okay. Yeah, seven seven fifteen, and then I take a shower. I'm to the office before eight. Okay. So when I get to the office, that's my time to meditate about my business. I take 15 minutes and I just sit there. I go through all my emails, all my notes, all my deals, all my follow-up stuff, all my appointments, everything I got going on. And I want to take one sheet of paper and I want to organize everything going on in my business mm -hmm. in terms of appointments, negotiatings, uh, you know, people I need to follow up with, deals I got, you know, what all is going on. That way, at the end of that 15 minutes on this one sheet of paper, I've got everything I need to know about taking my life to to the next level mm -hmm. that day. Mm -hmm. There's nothing more I can't, you know, I've sit there for 15 minutes and think of, is there anything else I can do today mm -hmm. that I can put on this piece of paper, you know, that's going to take everything to another level. Right. So I've and got huge goals way beyond, you know, I'm talking 10 years out here. Mm -hmm. Right. And, and it's all about the daily habits. Are you reviewing those goals, m m short, mid, and long range, when you get to the office as part of your meditation? Not really. Okay. No, I, I there's not for me. I'm I'm kind of different. I mean, there's really no need to look at that because mm -hmm. you don't control the results. Mm -hmm. The results control the results. You can only control your daily habits mm -hmm. and what you're going to do every day. Right. right? So I don't care about the the results. I know the results will happen when they're supposed to happen. And in 2014, I did 600k in, in personal income, and I wanted to do a mill the next year. Um, you know, so the next year comes around, I make this grand plan to do a mill, and I say I need to make this many phone calls, do this many this, this many listings, this 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 and this. And so January comes around, and I try to implement this plan. February comes around, March. By March, I start to realize. I'm not hitting this. Mm -hmm. I'm not. I'm not doing eighty thousand a month to get mm -hmm. to the mill. I'm still at fifty a month. Mm -hmm. What am I doing wrong? How you know? And what it was is 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 I was putting too much on myself, mm -hmm. right? You, you and your goals are like that. And I was try, I was trying to control the results. Mm -hmm. Right was the problem. And you, you you can't do it like that. You got you got to control your daily habits. Mm -hmm. Let the results happen when they happen, and then be patient. Right. Yeah. Put the work in. If you if you're putting the work in, then you, then you can go to sleep at night knowing I I did it. Right. Right. I did. I, I might I might not hit a million dollars this year like I wanted to, but I did what I was supposed to do. I did my full potential. My full potential is where I want to be. So I want to talk to the insurance agents listening to this right now, and, and real estate agents because if I'm a real estate agent, I got to listen to this podcast too. But um, you go back to you controlling your daily habits. And what I've always said to, to insurance agents is this. If, if I see what you're making this month in commissions, okay, 
I can just about tell you what you did a month, two or three months ago. Mm -hmm. So, so whatever you've done in that three months prior in the insurance business is going to show itself right about now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, And I think the same is true in real estate. You know, if, if you have a great month and you just blow it out of the water and then you just sit on your ass for two or three months, well, at the end of that three months, guess what? You're not going to have any closings. You're not going to do it. You're not going to have any business. Right. Mm-hmm. Uh, kind of the same thing. Now, going back to your daily routine, 8 a.m., we do office, we do emails. Are you just jamming the rest of the day? Just just you've got you know meetings and phone calls and problems? Whatever's on that piece of paper. Okay. Whatever's most important. I might have a, a listing appointment or I need to make – you know, 15 follow-up calls of people that said they might want to do something or need to show property or mm-hmm. I might have a podcast or mm-hmm. I might need to do a live training session. Uh, whatever's most, whatever's on that paper, that's what I got to do, you know. Do you have any certain time at night when you just turn it all off? Or do you, are you It just depends those? on what I have going on because, see, what's so crazy about everything I'm doing is, is I'm one guy. Right. I have Blake. I have uh, another assistant, Christy. He's my real estate assistant. And I have a girl named Brianna that works uh, past a uh, part time that just kind of does a little real estate and a little, the, the coaching stuff. And really it's just me. Right. Mm-hmm. And so, you know, Blake does a lot of videos, but I do a lot of videos on my own. Mm-hmm. I'll film and, and edit them myself. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, I edit all my podcasts. You know, a lot of my podcasts are, are recorded coaching calls I'll have with, right. with people that win them off Instagram, mm-hmm. and uh, I'll record them and put them on there. I do all that. Mm-hmm. And so at night, that's kind of my chance to, to if I need to edit something or if I have some, you know, like mm-hmm. really good ideas about some Facebook ad I want to do or, or something like that. So some nights I come, and I, I take a breath of fresh air, and I say, Oh, good. You know, I don't have to. I, I feel like I'm where I need to be right now. Mm-hmm. I can, you know, just chill out, you know, with the wife and just hang out for, uh, you know, a night. Uh, and there's other nights where I might edit till 10, 10 or 11 o'clock. Mm-hmm. You know, I get up at 430. So, you know, about 10 o'clock, I'm pretty dead, you yeah. know. Mm-hmm. So uh, the next question, what time you go to bed? Nine. Most of the time. Nine. <laughs>